Hi, and welcome to the Fox and Blake Show. Today we're going to talk about the beast from the east and climate change. Irish weather. Is it trying to kill us? Welcome back to the Fox and Blake Show, the only show that has been consistently hosted by me, Damon Blake, and my partner here, uh, George Fox. Hmm. What type of partner? Because in the last video, people asked if we were boyfriends. I would love to have George as a boyfriend, except that I find him uh, physically unattractive and emotionally repellent. Oh, just like every person I've ever dated, so no change there. No change there. Look, if you need to find out more about George's uh, previous dating experiences, I have listed them all on a Yelp page. I, I made him out to be a business, and I've just let people leave review after poor review. Uh, there was, there was the hygiene was an mm. issue. Um, We're about to be shut down. Oh, it's a huge, George Fox uh, Limited is a huge fire hazard. So uh, don't bring him near any open flames. I'm filled with asbestos. So how have you been, George, since uh, we've started doing the Fox and Blake show? So we've been recording these episodes and kind of putting them out. Mm -hmm. And there has been, there has been nice things said. There has been very nice things said. People are good. Well done, people. Thank you to everyone uh, for leaving nice comments and all to the people who have subscribed after our facts video. Mostly, no. we're going to be probably talking about pop culture and uh, things we find interesting and things we like to make fun of. Things in the news, things that are coming up, things that maybe you've seen and gone, what's that about? We've got you covered. As long as... Our version of covering it is kind of less informative than if you just Googled it by yourself. Why don't you ever Google anymore? Why are you going to videos for your information? You fool. Like Google shut down if you don't keep using it. It's very important that every day you Google at least three things. So that three. Three. So they can keep that company running. It's so important. It's a mom and pop business. Mo Mr. Google and Mrs. Google, uh, I remember when they barely, they barely had... Uh, any money coming in from AdWords. Yeah. Just before they set up the company, their son died. So Google's kind of their son. It's real sad. It's real sad. Today we'd like to talk to you about what's been going on in Ireland. For those of you who are in Ireland, you will be... You'll uh, know. You will know. You will have been aware of the, the, the ups and uh, atmospheric downs that we have experienced over the last while. For those of you who are in America, you might have seen things referenced recently uh, about snow, about bread mm. uh, about a, a, some sort of beast from the east and you might think oh a kaiju might be a oh is this some tie-in with the new pacific rim movie no is are they doing some sort of thing with brennan's bread and pacific rim the movie is there a crossover event unfortunately not no oh. no uh the, what has happened recently is that ireland twice now has been shut down thanks to snowstorms mm. from a thing that was called the beast from the east the beast from the east george what is the beast from the east oh you'd like to know wouldn't you that's why you asked me and i'm sure you'd like to know at home the beast from the east was some sort of weird storm that came to ireland some say because we legalized gay marriage mm, it has been said that God is real, but he only lives in Ireland now. Uh-huh. And it's because we were forcing all those bakeries to make brilliant make, cakes for gay weddings. Very lovely God cakes. God was like, I'm coming in. I'm putting a storm on everything. going to ruin and cancel those weddings. And also, I'm taking all the bread and wheat away. You're not even going to bake those cakes. Bit of an overreaction, uh, our Lord and 100%. Savior. 100%. I thought God was about love. He's, <laughs> it, <laughs> and not typhoons. Uh, but, but then also... It was an act of God, so... The Beast from the East was basically a, a whole wind change happened. Mm. There was atmospheric pressure involved, cold snaps. And what happened was where there was no snow expected, suddenly there was more snow than you could ever imagine suddenly happening. I, I heard you say the phrase cold snaps there. Mm. Is that one of those things where uh, your girlfriend asks you to take out the rubbish and you're like, yeah, I'm just going to go to the bathroom. And they go... Do you know what? Just forget about it. I'll do it. I've never really experienced that. Uh, my relationships have always been positively heteronormative. Oh. This is why I won't have George as a boyfriend. <laughs> Suddenly it's all starting to make sense. It's all making sense. Yeah, yeah. How did you deal with the snow as it was happening? Did you have to deal with the snow? I did have to deal with the snow. I was here. I was trapped. I had a flight to go home to Scotland. That was cancelled. And then the next four days subsequent flights were, were cancelled. So I was just... I was just trapped in Dublin, in snow. And I don't know, maybe don't know, 
Dublin and Ireland as a country, we can't deal with snow. We don't, any amount. Any amount. We tend to not have enough salt to mm. salt the roads to, to make sure that they're they're driven apart. Grit, upon. as it's sometimes known. Grit. Which, as opposed in Edinburgh, mm-hmm. there's grit on every street. They just they just have just, it there. There's just grit boxes, and you can just shovel and put snow out in the street. Put, it's great. Put some on your chips when you're having oh, brown sauce absolutely. on the way home. <laughs> absolutely. I've been to Scotland. I know the references. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chippy sauce. Chippy sauce chippy is it called? Sauce is it called is chippy sauce? Called. Well done, Edinburgh, for calling it chippy sauce. The sauce for your little chippies. How did Ireland deal with this? Oh, Ireland as a country dealt with it like it treats any other inconvenience. By just going to the most extreme reaction possible. Absolutely. This is like when people's internet goes down and they're just like, I think I'm going to smash my laptop. I'm going to smash it. And then I'm going to burn every book in the house just in case information tries to get into my noggin. I don't even want the info anymore. Did you mean to smash your laptop? Yes, I did, Google. And you tell your mom and pop that I don't want any of their business anymore. Ireland had a whole thing where people were like, we didn't know how long it was going to go for us. It was expected to be three days. But we kind of assumed, oh, this is forever now. Mm. And it did kind of feel like it was going to be forever. Like people would like, we just kind of stockpiled food. For Mm. some reason, bread became the big thing that everybody wanted. You would think with a big snowstorm coming and us knowing that it's going to last for three or four days... One of the things is going to be people doing Game of Thrones jokes, going "Winter's coming." Oh, I didn't hear. I didn't hear a single one of them. Because everyone got so panicked about bread, everyone's like, "My bread jokes! I can do them now!" And it was just weeks of bread jokes. Yes, we're still having them. Ordering uh, bread in French is a pain. I like bread, like a bread thing. I myself spent three days, I had a lovely three days uh, indoors. Uh, I watched much of RuPaul's Drag Race uh, All-Stars again. I just kind of watched it on a loop. I really recommend if you're ever stuck in that sort of situation to spend it that way. I loafed that joke. (laughs) (laughs) You need to stop mid-sentence suggesting edit cuts for me to do because then oh. I feel the pressure to do them. Oh no, never feel the pressure. Always just go, well, that's a stupid idea. I mean, but then I know what's going to happen is you're going to come and you're going to watch Final Product and you're going to be like, do you know what it worked really well to break no. that up? No, no. Uh, some sort of text and sound effect. Here's, here's what I say when Damon sends me clips. That's great that this exists. Thank you. Because in fairness, I couldn't make it. In fairness, but I'm always impressed. It's things, always great. Things have things things have uh, communication has drastically improved over the last uh, ten years, but not to the point where we're in a relationship. We're not in a relationship. Please stop saying it, or just or do. do. Who cares? Who it doesn't, cares? It doesn't affect my life. <laughs> I literally just realized I do. Like that's that, just that's a real. If you care enough to think that. Yeah. I mean, there's really, a lot of other guys on the internet who'd go, don't say that about us. We genuinely don't give a shit. Genuinely don't care. I have many friendships and they're all fine. I, I was, don't I don't have many friendships, actually. That was definitely a lie. No, no. In, in the past, I've had friendships that all ended. And now my life is just kind of like navigating the three I have left. Mm, and you're doing an okay job. But we'd be very happy if people wanted to uh, ship us as is their thing, and mm. then send us uh, graphic internet pornography they've drawn. If you want to write yaoi stories about us, like like draw, like a, like you want to illustrate yaoi, you should explain what yaoi is, because right now, the way you're explaining it, it sounds like it's a cartoon where something awful happens there, to me, and I go, yaoi! I mean, in Australia, yaois are like a kinder surprise egg sort of thing, and yaoi is much the same way in that it looks like very appealing and delicious, but you might be surprised what the contents are. Okay. Uh, I know this is ostensibly meant to be about climate change, but it's just... It's about yaoi now. It's about yaoi. Welcome to the yaoi show. Uh, yaoi apocalypse now. I also know I'm not saying it correctly because it's Mm -hmm. just a word I've read and nobody in my like I've never been like in a job in an office and the boss is like you know we need more I need more clarification on yaoi yaoi is basically uh, young nice men uh, in a scenario uh, developing a relationship for together ostensibly probably like they look like they're going to be straight but then they ended up 
uh, having a relationship, I think. Oh, it's Sherlock? It's Sherlock. Yowie, Sherlock is Yowie, uh, and Yowie is Sherlock. So it's, it really is, as long as at the end of the day, Moriarty doesn't get to hatch his nefarious schemes, and then there's a fourth season that everybody hates, that's the important thing. I think if we've learned anything today, it's that sometimes something's really exciting at first, but then eventually it falls apart and it's a nightmare. Yeah. Whether that be relationships, whether that be storms that came from the East, or whether it be the garbage show Sherlock. So a lot of people have said that over the years, climate change isn't real. And at the end of the day, for us in Ireland, they say like climate change isn't real. God is controlling the weather. Mm. And here in Ireland, we don't know what the right answer is. Not a clue. It feels like it could be equally either. Is it because we legalize gay marriage or is it because we haven't yet repealed the eighth? Which of the ones is it? Which way do you want us to go, God? Are we supposed to be more chill or less chill? I like your God talking voice. It is, it's like... Which way, God? Jesus, 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 oh, let God. me talk to your dad and say to him. Oh, God, I tell you what, Jesus, it'd be great if you just leaned over and chatted to your dad. A little whisper in his ear and just saying, hey. Oh, I tell you, didn't like them storms now, Jesus. Jesus, uh, dad, maybe a bit, have a little bit of a balmy afternoon so I can be walking in, St- St- in Stephen's Green and feed the swans. Dear Jesus, what's heaven like? Oh, it's really great. Just, you can't get bath bombs. No, nope. the one thing. No just bath can't get bombs. Them. And also, our chips don't have brown sauce. Why can't we be in Scottish heaven? If this was on Saturday Night Live right now, people would be making a huge fuss over our accents and ignoring what is, at the end of the day, a sketch that has no ending. Irish people, they just love the crack. And then we just post up that picture of <laughs> 50 million Irish people complain about a sketch. Who gives, Who a, gives a shit? Who gives a shit? So thanks for watching the video. Who knows what's going to happen? This video is probably going to come out before the Beast of the East 3 has hit. So let's see. Maybe maybe we'll be dead by then. Maybe we'll be so panicked we'll have just gotten married and become husbands. Just like the internet wanted. Hey, you weirdos. So if you are watching this and uh, you're trapped inside and this is the only sort of entertainment that you are able to have, I'm really sorry. Mm. But we have done a lot of previous videos that you can check out. We have done ones... Uh, with some sketches with our friend Dermot, mm. uh, our friend Donald Sharpson, uh, which I will probably link to here or here at some point. I don't know. Somewhere around here. And uh, if you are just watching this for the first time, please subscribe. And if you are watching this for the last time, I mean, thanks for hanging out with us while it lasted. It was... Uh, yeah. Please it was... share it with your friends if you like trying to struggle to explain to your friends what a thing even is. Oh, like that's the thing. That's at the end of the day what this is all about. It's about information and community. And uh, please make a Wikipedia page about us that will be quickly deleted because of a lack of uh, renown. So until next time, um, thanks for watching. And my name is Damon Blake and this is uh, George Fox. And I'm just not gonna let him talk anymore until the end of this video. Thank you so much and goodbye.